In 2019, the then Minister in Charge of Children Affairs at the Ministry of Gender, Florence Nachwala Chinji, revealed that her ministry had received 1 billion shillings to move children off the streets of Kampala. This exercise saw over 600 children who had been living on the streets of Kampala move to care homes and other places where they could receive rehabilitation. Because as you can see now, the children for the first time in the history of Uganda have, have not been on the streets, but a few remnants of them who are coming, we are trying to show permanent presence on the streets. However, with the gradual lifting of the COVID-19 lockdown last year, the street children are now slowly coming back onto the streets. This is a cause for worry for KCCA officials who are currently undertaking a cleanup of the city under their Kampala Smart City initiative. Previously, they were in the CBD, but now you're seeing them extending to other suburbs like Kira Road, the new roads like um, Akashia, John Bahi, Bariha, um, and Ibukoto, then also in these other areas of um, uh, Kansanga, Kabalagala. Mwanguzi points out that the authority is now working on plans to remove the children from the streets again. Our plan as a city is to identify them, rescue them, take them through a rehabilitation, um, so that we know who are they before we reunite them with their families. The authority is also seeking to establish partnerships with care homes where these children can be taken in. We've also identified uh, partners who are availing homes for rehabilitation. At the right time, we shall be able to communicate to you who these partners are, where we're going to rehabilitate these children. But as KCCA proceeds with its plans, children organizations like Dwelling Places have also given it some advice on how it can successfully implement its plans. According to Maureen Mwonge, the Director of Operations at Dwelling Places, priority should be placed on taking these children back to school. A strategy that we used, which has yielded almost 80% success, has been schools. When you reintegrate a child and enroll them back in school, education and school um, is a, a retainer back in the community. It's also important to address the surge in child labor, which has been facilitated by the outbreak of COVID-19. Mwongi also points out that it's critical to ensure that the children's ordinance that was passed last year by KCCA is enforced. And it will go a long way in... Um, um, ensuring that those that are trafficking children and bringing them on the streets are, are, are punished. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.